Rose's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making spaghetti and meatballs. So the ingredients you will need are, of course, some meatballs. I'm using quite a lot. You might want quite a lot, depends who you're serving for. You'll also need some spaghetti, some chopped tomatoes. I recommend always using two. Um, you will need some tomato puree. I normally use half of that. You'll need some soy sauce, um, Worcester sauce, and optional onions and Let's get started. Okay, now I'm going to chop the onions. I'm using a blender. So I'd recommend going to two and count 10 seconds. Make sure to hold the lid. Just literally gonna throw them one by one into the pan. Okay, maybe not one by one. And let's do the second pack. We have a pack spare. Come on, last one. Ah. So you're gonna keep doing that till you're gonna keep mixing it around and leave it till it's brown. Once your meatballs are starting to turn brown, you can put your sauces in. I'm using two or well, three. Three teaspoons of it. Four. Four. And now you're going to add the swan. Do three of each to a normal spoon. It's just not too big. Excellent. Now give it a little mix and it Fabulous. Okay, when your meatballs look cooked, which mine did, you can take them out. Now I'm going to put the onions in. I'm going to use this to um, get the rest off the side and then you can pour them in. Just kind of pull. And let the onion sizzle till they're brown, okay? You can do the rest there too. Going to pour your chopped now you're going to put your chopped tomatoes into your onions when they look like this. Squish them in. Always get that excess squidge out. Just remember, you might regret it. Excess squidge. And go to the second pit. Today I'm not using tins, I'm using these boxes instead of tins. Unusual. Now, after you've squished that in and got the excess tomato out, you're going to squeeze half of your tomato puree in. Let's take the lid off and give it a squeeze. Sorry about that, my foil, the foil on this wasn't unpeeled, so. Let's give it a squeeze. I'm using half. It's good to use half of it because you don't want too much, you don't want too less. You can squeeze the rest out afterwards if you like. Now you're going to pop your lemon if you want. And you don't have to have it, but I think you should. Excellent. And you're also going to pop, we added in some of this. Um, we're just going to, some of this basil. Um, you can use it if you want, you don't have to. I just realised that we can use that as well. Okay. Now we're going 
going to put our meatballs into the sauce. your pan or put water, pan should be on, put a portion at a time, just going to dump it in there like that, some prefer to um, break it but we like to keep them nice and long, just leave them there and they will soak down. to pour your spaghetti in make sure you drain it beforehand oh and mix it 